Hey, welcome back to another devlog. If you're new here, I'm working on a fishing roguelike where you battle against different fish to catch them. This week, we're working on the title screen as well as the level select and the level progression. My plan was to make the title screen sort of like an aquarium with little fish swimming around in the background. I first created this simple UI. Then I made a little transparent box with the fish models inside of them. This is what it looked like. I added a distortion shader to make it look like it's underwater. You can see the distortion more clearly when I bump up the noise. I created these bubble particles, and I thought it looked pretty good inside the distortion shader. I added a blue background, and started spawning in the fish randomly. Then I added a little swimming animation to complete the aquarium look. Next thing I wanted to work on was the level select. Basically, when you catch enough fish, you move on to the next level. So I needed a way to show those. I originally wanted a 3D level select, but I was having a lot of trouble with the look and feel of it. I wanted to have this foam shader around each of the islands and allow you to swipe between each island, but it wasn't really working the way I wanted it to. So I decided to go with a simple 2D version. I used these fish assets I found online as level select icons. The green indicates you finished the level and the gray shows that you haven't finished it yet. I added this horizontal scrolling and you can see here that I have the button set up as well. Complete with a little animation to show that that's the level you're supposed to go to. I needed a transition animation when you switch between scenes, and I wanted it to be like a wave going across the screen. So I created this wave shader, and I thought it looked pretty good. If you're interested in using this transition yourself, I actually created a tutorial, and the link is in the description. When I was testing on my phone, I found I had some serious performance issues when I was transitioning into the fishing scene, as well as this weird brown bar that was showing up. This never happened before, so I wasn't sure what the problem was. But after some investigating, I found that I left in the old terrain that I had that you might have seen in my previous devlogs. I just set them to be invisible this whole time. After I deleted them, the performance issues were resolved. Next, I wanted to work on the level progression. I wanted a way to define what type of fish gets spawned in each level, as well as the probability of catching each fish. I also needed a way to define how many points you needed to finish a level. So I created this level resource. Now I can create a level and define all those parameters really easily. I then created a progress bar and connected everything together, as well as adding a windscreen. So you now have the ability to catch fish, make progress, finish the level, and move on to the next level. For some finishing touches, I added this quick border, as well as sound effects for the wave transition and the windscreen. Next week, I'm going to work on giving the fish various abilities. If the next devlog is out, it'll be on the right, and if you want to watch my previous devlogs, you can click on the playlist on the left. If you want to be notified when the next devlog comes out, please consider subscribing. See you next time!